Yo, what's up, agent? I'm back to you again. Today I have a healer build. It's for PvE. It says it's very good build for all kind of content like incursion, or raid, you know, dark hours, uh, iron horse, and you know, like all content, heroic, legendary for speed run. You know, the healer is, is like it's the most important uh, build in the game. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the crossbow. The crossbow is like uh, it's the best option with this build because while you in cover you gain 10% skill raised and you always going to be in cover so that's so good and group members get 10% bonus damage to target the status effect I'm gonna show you how to how you are going to like apply status effect on the enemy and uh, you will have like 15% increased outgoing healing and you will have a 10% increased protection from elite and armor kit now repair over 5 seconds instead of instantly but also apply to group members within 20 meters and don't forget you have 5 grenades which is you gonna use to apply like uh, like you but you're gonna burn enemies so you can apply status effect and that's how you will activate this this talent and the crossbow, you know when you shoot from your crossbow, you can apply bleed to that enemy to, or to that target you shoot, you know, you are going to activate this talent also. Now, let me show you the build. Alright, uh, I'm using lefty, shotgun, damage, damage to armor, and swap speed. Most of my guess which I need, which I like, uh, I don't shoot, I just uh, use it to like uh, for the talent. I'm using swap speed and uh, for the talent uh, perfect sledgehammer dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on target target with mark will take 40% more damage to armor and have like a negative 30% movement speed mark will disappear after 10 seconds and I'm using Scorpio you know Scorpio is the best option to apply like a uh, status effect poison shock and you also like uh, you're gonna give your teammate 20% damage extra damage all right and for the pistol I'm using to die card custom uh, you can use anything you want because the skill tier is not important and uh, for the talent I'm using uh, reformation headshots grant 30% uh, skill repair for 15 seconds you just need to hit uh, like a headshot it's not uh, you need to kill with the headshot just hit the headshot and that's it you can best you can choose any pistol you want I, I like uh, I choose this because it got uh, like a high RBM and as you see I'm using a uh, future gear set two pieces gonna give me three percent uh, 30% I'm sorry repair scale 3 pieces gonna give me 15% skill heist and 30% skill duration 4 pieces ground control and increase you and your allies total open and skill damage by 15% when at full armor when you repair an ally you and all allies within 5 meters of you are also repaired for 60% of that amount Repair scale for the mount, repair scale. For the chest, I'm using also like a future gear set uh, chest piece because, uh, you know, repair scale and for the mount, repair scale. Because, like it says, increase ground control damage bonus from 50% to 25%. Alright, for the holster, I'm using future also, repair scale skill tier for the knee pad also future skill tier and repair skill and for the clubs I'm using BTSU the exotic you know skill haste repair skill transverse over overclock grants 15% uh, hive skill haste repair skill tier alright 
Donate in Gehive, refresh your skill cooldown and the grants overcharge for 15 seconds. If at uh, skill tier 6, this effect also applies to all allies. Allies receiving this effect are unable to benefit from it again for like, for like for two minutes. All right, this is so important, guys. This is so important for the team. Like, uh, especially when you have like uh, two or three DPS, they have to use you know revival hive. When you just destroy your hive, you're gonna give them overcharge and rest restore like their hives. This is so important, guys. Believe me. And for the backpack. I'm using uh, Alp Summon. It's gonna give me 20% uh, repair skill, repair skill, skill haste, and for the mod repair skill. For the talent safeguard, while at full armor, increase total skill repair by 100%. <laughs> and uh, for the skills, I'm using reinforcement, reinforcer, chain launcher. Uh, ammo 9, ammo cooldown 20 seconds. Look, for the mod, like uh, I changed three modes from repair scale to skill haste. And it became the ammo cooldown was like uh, say 16 seconds. And uh, I choose repair scale, like I choose uh, more healing instead of like having like uh, 4 seconds compared to like this way, 20 seconds. So, like I told you. You can choose whatever you want, but for me, after I test it, I think when you choose, the, when you go with the mod with all repair skill, it's going to be better. Uh, the cloud the radius is like uh, five meters. Cloud duration eight seconds. Ally repair 1.5 million. Repair over time uh, 306k. PVP, you know, don't worry, don't care about PVP because this build is not PVP. Don't try it. You know, uh, in my next video, I'm gonna show you like uh, BV built for uh, healer BVB, like you know, conflict and DZ. And uh, as you see now, I'm at uh, skills, uh, six skill tier, and I'm using restore hive. Refill speed is one second. Like I told you, for for restore hive, like uh, well, if you are if you are using like uh, skill haste mode. It's, it's useless because you already like one second for the refill speed. What's the point? For the charge, it's uh, 36 range, like uh, almost uh, 13 meters. Duration, it's uh, five minutes. Health, four million. Healing, like uh, almost uh, 500,000 HP. Uh, like I told you, but uh, I like this stats. It's not with the like with the talent, with the with the safeguard, or with the, oh okay, or with the with the pistol talent, because here you you gain like 13% uh, skill repair, and here you have like 100% uh, skill repair. All right, so so I'm showing you like the stats without uh, activating the talent. When you activate the safeguard. Like uh, your, the healing going to be like for one million with the you know with the restore hive because it's going to be double or right one hundred percent and when when you have like uh, more thirty percent skill appear is going to be above million so just keep that in your mind and there uh, that's the build guys there is like other option uh, for the backpack you can choose this backpack. Like, uh, where, mm, yeah, this one. You can use this because you can, like, uh, give your uh, team, like, uh, damage, like 10%. Or you can do, you can use this one. I don't have a good backpack for a, for a healer, but you will give them, like, 15% uh, more damage, all right? But you will, sacri you will uh, sacrifice like uh, 100 uh, skill repair. For me, I don't think it's good. But then, uh, like in Corsion, uh, sometimes we, like we do that because, uh, you know, we are just four. And you have uh, a striker. The, all the fight is going to be like close range. So I use this, this backpack. 
like this talent if you have a good backpack it's going you need to be a skill repair and skill haste but like i told you it's, it's up to you sometimes you need to give them more damage sometimes you, you need them request. you need to give them like more survivability but uh, it's up to you and uh, like i told you guys the btsu gloves it's so important believe me especially when you have like a uh, people who you using uh, high dps build they need this uh, overcharge to like restore their hive and uh, that's the build guys i just want to say something guys please for like all people who's going for legendary mission i joined like a lot of people on matchmaking i see three of them one of them using five pieces of hunter fury like guys really five p and their SSD level was like oh, about uh, three thousand or above how you play this game you when you when you use five pieces of gear set what's the point i don't know i told them i told them guys it's useless but i see that the oh, like what's the point from tell them they're not listening they're not i don't know i don't know i don't know what's the point if anyone know like there is some secret about like using uh, five pieces of gear set uh, i hope to let me know the other dude was using memento and five pieces of striker like i i don't i don't understand and uh, i joined like one uh, group i told them i'm playing healer they say okay and i see that their build was uh, skill build with armor region what's the point from using skill build with armor region when you have a healer there is a lot of people need to like to understand the game stop using the same build when you have a healer use dps it's so simple you're gonna delete the content it's not gonna take you like two or three hours to complete one mission one legendary mission i don't know anyway guys that's the build for today and believe me the build is so important for the team like i told the default content except the pvp content my next video is going to be healer build for pvp and uh, i'm going to see you in my next one skeletal rogue peace out don't let anything stand in your way C'est pas le haut ton jogging ça T'en as d'autres de haut de jogging Non, est-ce que t'en as d'autres de haut de jogging